What's up, fam? Yeah, it's me, and I know it's been a minute, and I'm sorry. But a lot has been going on. I've been working hard. Um, I had my granddaughter for a week, and I didn't want to uh, try to film or, or, you know, or try to do a video while I had my granddaughter. So it, it's just been a lot going on. But every, I'm doing fine. Everything's well. I hope everybody else is doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody's paying attention um, because there is a lot going on. But I'm here tonight because uh, I'm a little pissed. You know, let's let's be honest. I'm a little pissed. I, I, I'm a little pissed about what I see going on. And so we're going to have a little conversation about it. Okay. I hope that's all right with everybody. But we're just going to have a little conversation about this because I'm kind of pissed. And this is not going to be a rant. Well, it, 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 some of it might be a little rant, but uh, it's going to be a lot of information. But uh, needless to say, um, like I said, I hope everybody's doing well. And I just want to let y'all know that I'm just a little upset about some stuff. And what I'm upset about is this whole billboard thing that Oprah has going on, right? And everybody that's a part of the new black media or everybody that considers themselves as a citizen journalist or whatever uh that's a part of this black empowerment space we all need to be talking about this because um old old big fat mammy oprah decided that she was gonna do 26 billboards uh throughout louisville kentucky uh about brianna taylor right but she didn't decide to do this until after our brother and um, one of the head members of the new black media, one of the first members of the new black media, uh, was putting billboards up everywhere. Now, we already know about the three billboards that he put up in New York, and they've been up for well, well over a month now. Um, uh, uh, now, he also has billboards in Atlanta. He has a billboard in Chicago, and he also has uh, the billboard that he put up for Breonna Taylor in louisville right and the one that's in new the one that's in louisville this is what it says the, the 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 one that jason put up in louisville this is what it says now let me go because i'm of course i'm gonna have a picture of it in this video so that you can see it but i want to tell you but i want to say exactly what it says You know, he has one for reparations in, in New York. He has one for racial profiling in New York. And he has one for the, uh, the, the, the Central Park Karen in New York. Those are the three that are in New York. And like I said, they have been up for well over um, a month now. Now, the one in Atlanta says Mayor Bottoms, talking about Mayor Keisha Bottoms, Mayor Bottoms has failed us, reparations or resigned. So uh, anybody who, who reads this knows that he's talking about black folks because he says reparations. And black folks are the only folks right now that are demanding reparations, right? Um, there's also one in Chicago that says something, well, it says something similar. The one in Chicago says something very similar. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find a picture of the one in Chicago. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to see if I can find the one in Chicago. Because the one in Chicago says uh, 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 something very similar. And it tells old Lori Lightfoot that, you know, reparations or she needs to resign as well. Uh, Cause you know these folks is 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 is, is crooked. So let me see. Let me maximize this and see all of his. Cause I'm on his Twitter right now, and I'm looking for these. No, that's Keisha. 
that's bottoms. I'm trying to find the one for old Lightfoot. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can find the one for Lightfoot because I want to tell you exactly what it says. The one for Lightfoot says that this is the one for in Atlanta. Mayor, uh, Mayor Bottoms has failed us. Reparations or resign. Mayor Lightfoot the issue is reparations or resign. And the one that he put up for Breonna Taylor says black men are here for Breonna Taylor. Produce justice. Right? And the one for Breonna Taylor went up August the 5th. Right? Well, lo and behold, oh, sneaky Oprah. And we know that Oprah has not been concerned with black issues um, in the last 30, 40 years. Oprah has not been concerned with black issues since she um, uh, got her symbolic spot in, in, in the dominant society and, and, you know, with the celebrities and all of this kind of stuff and white Hollywood and all of that, Oprah has not been concerned with anything that has happened in the black community in 30, 40 years. Since the, the late 80s, early 90s, Oprah has not been concerned with anything that was going on in the black community. Except for, of course, using black folks to make money, right? And, and steering black people the wrong way. And, and this campaign that she has been on for the last 30, 40 years against black men, right? Okay, now this is the same Oprah Winfrey that, uh, 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 um, like I said, in the last 30, 40 years has gone after black men wholeheartedly. The, the same Oprah Winfrey that backed uh, uh, Leaving Neverland and those two liars who claimed that they were victims of Michael Jackson. And, and she was a part of that whole thing. Uh, then right after that, she decided she was going to be a part of doing a documentary on Russell Simmons, who was supposed to be her friend. Um, then after that, uh, she decided that she was going to uh, back Gail when Gail decided that she was going to go after Kobe Bryant after he was dead in that interview with Lisa Leslie. And then she comes on the, the Huda and Jenna show, uh, uh, putting on all them fake tears and, and, and trying to put on this white woman's voice and all of this, talking about Gail is receiving death threats and all of this kind of stuff. Um, and then after that, she did something about where do we go from here or something like that, that nobody paid attention to, that nobody watched and all of this. So this is the same Oprah who has joined in with the white supremacists and has joined in with the system to beat down black people for the last 30, 40 years. Now, all of these black people that have been killed by police officers, uh, unarmed black people that have been slaughtered and killed in the street by police officers, black women, Sandra Bland and, 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 and several other black women. And all, Oprah has been silent. Oprah hasn't had a thing to say. Oprah hasn't said a word. Oprah hasn't done any billboards. Oprah hasn't done any ads. Oprah hasn't done any TV specials. Oprah hasn't done any interviews. She hasn't interviewed any other family members. She hadn't interviewed anybody. She, she never interviewed Trayvon Martin's family. She never interviewed Eric Garner's family. She never interviewed Sandra Bland's family. She never interviewed Tamir Rice's family. She never put any of that information about them in her magazine or any of her shows, any of her platforms, anything. Oprah has done absolutely nothing. Oprah has been as silent as a as 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 death. As silent as death when it comes to anything that has to do with black people, racism, justice, injustice. Uh, black folks being killed by police and slaughtered by police. She has been absolutely silent on any of this. Now, all of a sudden, after the new black media led by Jason Black, who has spent his own money as well as folks from grassroots donating and, 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 and sending money in to have these a billboard's done. Now, all of a sudden, Oprah decides that she's going to spend some money and do some billboards. So she commissioned 26 billboards about Breonna Taylor. Okay. Now I'm just going to read a little bit of this uh, article in CNN about this whole thing. 
Oprah's Old Magazine puts up billboards all over Louisville demanding action in the Breonna Taylor case. Now, you notice it didn't say Oprah Winfrey. It's just a, 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 it's just a citizen. It's just a black woman. No, it says Oprah's Old Magazine. Now, you know the magazine is about on the outskirts because, you know, the... Um, the show has been canceled. Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 what is it? The old network. You know, she doesn't own that anymore. She's just kind of like the figurehead for that now. And the magazine is on the outs. It's about to go out too. So uh, she needs help with this magazine. She needs something that's going to boost this magazine. That's going to boost uh, 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 the sales for this magazine. That's going to revive this magazine and bring this magazine back to life. So she does this. She gets these um, billboards, not as an individual, just plain black woman who just wanted to do something. No, Oprah's old magazine puts up billboards all over Louisville demanding action in the Breonna Taylor case. Now, prior to Oprah doing this, when you typed in Google when you typed in Breonna Taylor billboards, Jason Black's billboard for her. The Black Authorities billboard would come up. The one that he put in in, 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 in Louisville for Breonna Taylor, that one would come up. The one saying that Black men are here for and supporting Breonna Taylor produce justice. That's what would come up. Now, when you type in Breonna Taylor billboard, the only thing that comes up now is Oprah Winfrey. And these 26 billboards that she commissioned, right? This is a this is a woman who 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 ba who who at least based on Forbes is a billionaire, three point whatever billion dollars. So she just now decides that all of a sudden she's concerned about Breonna Taylor being dead. All of a sudden now Breonna Taylor been dead ever since uh, I think it was March the 13th. Was it March the 13th or May the 13th? Let me get it right. Let's see. Yeah, March. So so it took March, April, May, June, July. It took her five months to decide that, 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 that Breonna Taylor needed justice. It took her five months to decide that this was something that she wanted to fight for. And this was something that she wanted to be a part of. And it took five months for that. After all the protesting and, 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 and everything that has gone on in Louisville, because of Breonna Taylor, it took this long for Oprah to decide that she wanted to participate and she wanted to be a part of this. Right. OK. But she's never wanted to participate and never wanted to be a part of anything else that had to do with black folks being killed and being murdered by police officers and slaughtered in the streets. She never wanted she never had anything else to say about any of that. When all of this was going on, she was going after a dead man, Michael Jackson. Or she was being quiet and just wasn't saying anything. Everybody watched George Floyd die. We ain't heard nothing from Oprah. Where's the billboard for George Floyd? Where's the billboard for Eric Garner when we watched him be choked to death? Where's the billboards for all of these other people? Where's the billboard for Sandra Bland? If this is if, 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 if we're supposed to believe now that Oprah's doing this because she wants justice for a black woman. Because, you know, she's she's you know, she's into that feminist thing. So if that's what this is supposed to be. OK, but well then what, where was she with with Sandra Bland and, and 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 some of the other black women who have been killed. Unjustly. OK, but anyway. So let, let me let me read a little bit of this to you, cause you'll see the um you'll see a picture of the billboard here in this um in this video. Oprah Winfrey's own magazine is putting up billboards around Louisville, Kentucky. Now remember, she's making it clear that it's the magazine that's doing this. So she's trying to boost the magazine. She's trying to get attention drawn back to the magazine. Not something that Oprah is doing as just an individual person, but this is what her old magazine is doing. Calling for the officers involved in the killing of Breonna Taylor to be arrested and charged. And, 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 and Jason Black has, has made it clear uh, in several of his broadcasts 
that they are very, very specific about what he can and cannot say and what he can and cannot put on these billboards. And he says that they have never allowed him to do anything close to calling for somebody to be charged or arrested or convicted or anything like that. That's just a no-no. And you might say, well, maybe just maybe, you know, they, they allowed her to do it because it's Oprah and because of money. No, a lot of the reason why they won't allow certain wording and certain things to be put on these billboards is for legal purposes. Because they don't want to later on face any kind of legal uh, 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 problems because they allowed certain words and certain things to be used on their billboards. Right. But her billboard actually called. If you read the billboard, it says demand that the, that the police involved in killing Breonna Taylor be arrested and charged. Right. Now, you got to remember, this is coming from Oprah. OK. Taylor, a 26 year old EMT, was shot multiple times in March by police forcing their way into her apartment while executing a no not warrant. Old magazine. Not Oprah Winfrey, O Magazine is putting up 26 billboards around the city, one for each year of Taylor's life to amplify her story and the fight for justice in her name. Now, you notice there are no news stories, no articles where anybody had a conversation with Jason Black or the Black Authority or the Black Channel because uh, Jason is the Black Channel and in all of his uh, billboards it shows that it's paid for by the Black Channel. He says that, uh, and he said this several times before, that you have to do attribution, which means you have to let them know uh, in the billboard somewhere who's paying for the billboard. You understand what I'm saying? Um... And in this billboard, she makes it clear that this is not something that Oprah Winfrey is doing as an individual, that this is something that Oprah Winfrey is doing as a business. Oh, magazine, because in that top in that top uh, uh, um, is that, that right hand corner. Right. You see that big O and then it says Oprah Winfrey, then it says uh, old magazine and then. Uh, she has this little quote down there where she's saying, um, let me see if I can bring it up closer. She said, if you turn a blind eye to racism. Let me get that right. Let me let me get that. Let me say that right. If you turn a blind eye, a blind eye to racism, you become an accomplice to it. And then it's signed and it shows her signature Oprah on the side. And it's right there by Brianna's head. And I, I mean, and, and it's, 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 it's nice size. You can clearly see it and you can even read. You can clearly read the little quote from her. Right. And it says the Oprah magazine. So Oprah is using Brianna Taylor and these billboards to advertise her magazine that's the reason why she put them up uh through the company old magazine instead of putting them up as an individual person or, or just putting them up as as oprah or just putting them up she makes sure to put her old magazine there and her signature so everybody will know this is coming from old magazine but 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 that, but that ain't the worst part of it just hold up Let's finish reading. The billboard features the portrait of Taylor that will be on the cover of the September issue of O. So these billboards that you see are actually the cover of the magazine. The billboards are actually the September cover of Oprah's magazine. So Oprah is now all of a sudden going to put Breonna Taylor. Now, like I said, you ain't never seen Sandra Bland. You ain't never seen Eric Garner. You ain't never seen Tamir Rice. You ain't never seen, Tra seen Trayvon Martin. You ain't never seen Freddie Gray. You ain't never seen uh, uh, Philando Castile. You ain't never seen none of these folks 
on the cover of old magazine. Letitia Harden uh, 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 and some of these other black women who have been killed by police officer, the black uh, uh, the black woman that, that was pregnant, that was shot by the police officer, I believe it was in Texas uh, five times or something like that. He shot this pregnant woman. The, 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 the black woman that was brutally beat on the side of the road by that white uh, 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 highway patrolman. See, we've never seen any of those people on the cover of old magazine. But now all of a sudden, Breonna Taylor is going to be put on the cover of the magazine and the billboards that you see are actually the cover of the magazine. It will be the first time that anyone other than Winfrey is on the cover in the magazine's 20 year history. So this is the first time that anybody else other than Oprah herself has been on the cover of her magazine. Now you got to think, this is the same magazine that people aren't buying. That's about to go under. This is the same magazine that's about to go under. We have to use whatever megaphone we have to cry for justice. This is Oprah all of a sudden. Winfrey said in an article in her magazine announcing the billboards. And that is why Breonna Taylor is on the cover of O Magazine. I cry for justice in her name. The, S the September issue honors her and every other black woman whose life has been taken too soon. Okay, but, 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 but what happened? Why weren't you crying for justice and, and putting out billboards and, 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 and putting out magazine covers and magazine articles? You understand what I'm saying? And interviewing uh, uh, members of these black women's families and all of that when they were actually being killed, when they were actually murdered. Why now? Why all of a sudden has o Oprah grown a conscience? Why all of a sudden has Oprah realized that she's black? The billboards urged people to demand that the police involved in killing Breonna Taylor be arrested and charged and points them to the website for Until Freedom, a social justice organization that recently moved to Louisville to focus on Taylor's case. Until Freedom thanked old, old magazine on social media for placing the 26 billboards and vowed to get justice for Taylor. Okay. Now, the reason why, wait a minute, hold on, I, I'll get into that in a minute. Let's go a little bit further. Let's, let's go just a little bit further. Now, this is CNN Business. Now, this was July 30th, 2020. Breonna Taylor featured on Oprah Magazine's September cover. For the first time in its 20-year history, Oprah Winfrey will not be the cover star of her namesake magazine. Instead, the September issue's cover will pay tribute to Breonna Taylor, the 26-year-old black woman who was killed by police in March. Winfrey revealed the cover on Twitter and Instagram Thursday. We can't be silent, Winfrey wrote in a statement accompanying, accompanying the reveal. We have to use whatever megaphone we have to cry for justice. And that is why Breonna Taylor is on the cover of O Magazine. The September issue honors her life and the life of every other black woman whose life has been taken too soon. And you'll see the picture of the cover. And it says O Magazine over on the side right behind Breonna's head. If you turn a blind eye to racism, you become an accomplice to it, Oprah. Breonna Taylor, born and gives her uh, uh, the day she was born, killed by police March 13, 2020. Her life matters. Now, this is on the cover of O Magazine for the September issue. That's the issue that hasn't come out yet. I am so happy to play a small part in this long overdue world changing narrative on racial injustice and police brutality, Franklin told O Magazine. That's digital artist Alexis Franklin who created the cover. The original photo is one Brianna took herself and has been featured in the news many times. Looking at it, I see an innocent, simple, but powerful. I see an innocence, 
Simple but powerful. It was critical for me to retain that. Hold on, y'all. I'm reading to see if there's anything else in this article that I want to. No, there's nothing else in this article. And, and like I said, all of these articles will be linked in the description box. You can go back and read them. But I, I'm just, I, I just want to make it clear. I want to make it clear that Oprah couldn't just do this as, as, as Oprah Winfrey, the person. You understand what I'm saying? Or she couldn't just do this anonymously anonymously she had to do this in the biggest possible way you understand what i'm saying she had to do it and she had to do it through her magazine and then like i said the billboards are not original the billboards are simply copies of the magazine cover so all oprah is doing is using this brianna taylor situation and using brianna taylor to build up sales for her magazine that's all she's doing. This is not any concern. This is not because she cares. Because if Oprah had had any care, all the black women who have been killed because of racial violence, whether it be by police officers or whatever, this is the first time Oprah decides that she's going to put anybody on the cover of her magazine. This is the first time she decides that she's going to talk about it in her magazine. or This is the first time she decides she's going to spend a little money on a billboard or two. And this has been going on for, for, for decades. This is the first time she decides that she's going to use any of her platforms to bring any kind of awareness to racial injustice. But again, like I said, she doesn't do it as Oprah the individual, as Oprah the, the black woman. She does it as Oprah the business entity through old magazine to bring that awareness and that attention to the magazine. Let me put Breonna Taylor on the cover of this magazine and folks will come and folks will buy the magazine. You understand what I'm saying? Because they want to hear what I have to say about Breonna Taylor. They will buy the magazine because maybe just maybe they want to hold on to that cover and, and have that cover and, and, and think, that, you know, maybe this is history in the making. But then, too, you got to look at it and remember who we're dealing with. We're dealing with Mammy Oprah. We're dealing with the dominant society's favorite Mammy, Oprah. If you think for one minute that it's a coincidence that Oprah all of a sudden decides that she's going to do billboards after Jason Black has put up all these billboards, you crazy. Oprah was sent to do this. Oprah was sent to do this so she could steer the conversation in a different direction because we got the grassroots rising up. We got the grassroots paying for things to get done. We got the rad grassroots putting up billboards and making demands and putting our demands sky high. All up in the sky. Reparations. Hate crimes. Get rid of racial profiling. One of his one of Jason Black's billboards in 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 New York says that uh, uh this nine one one calling this fake nine one one calling should be considered a hate crime. And somebody had to get in there. They had to get somebody in there. You understand what I'm saying? To change the, 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 the direction, to get folks talking about something else, to get folks to stop paying attention. And here comes Oprah. At this point, anything that Oprah does should be suspect. Anything that Oprah, uh, Oprah does, you should be looking at it with a side eye because Oprah ain't never been in, interested in the issues that are going on with black folks. Not since she became the darling of white society, not since she became the darling of the dominant society, the darling of Hollywood, of white Hollywood. Oprah ain't cared nothing about what was going on with black folks 
But now all of a sudden she's so interested in Breonna Taylor. And these other black women. Okay, but what happened to, 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 like I said, the covers for them other black women? What happened to them billboards for them other black women? What happened to you using your platform to speak out uh, 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 against what was happening to black women and the violence that was going on against black women? See, Oprah was sent in to change the narrative because uh, black, the, the grassroots is doing too much. The grassroots is bringing too much attention to black issues and to the black demands, reparations. We are demanding reparations. We are demanding that these things be called hate crimes. We are demanding that the racial profiling stop. So what we supposed to we we supposed to do what? Pat Oprah on the back because now she decides she's going to spend just a little bit of money on some billboards. All the money that she got all these years, 30, 40 years. And she hasn't spoken out against any of the injustice, any of the violence against black folks. So what are we supposed to do now? We're supposed to pat her on the back. We're supposed to welcome her back in with, with open arms. After what she did to Michael Jackson, after what she was about to do to Russell Simmons, after what she tried to do to Kobe Bryant. After her silence against Harvey Weinstein. After pushing those liars uh, that, 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 that everybody debunked and they proved them to be liars against Michael Jackson. After pushing them out and giving them a platform to speak and telling everybody that she believed them and all of that. So now just because she puts up a couple of billboards, we supposed to open her back with welcome, with, 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 welcome her back with open arms and start back listening to Oprah and following Oprah. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Cause what nobody thinking about billboards or nothing else until Jason Black started doing billboards. What nobody thinking about billboards? What nobody thinking about putting up a sign on in a window? Let's mo uh, uh, putting it up in the sky in a billboard. So now all of a sudden, uh, 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 this is supposed to give Oprah some kind of credibility in, in the black community. This is supposed to give her some kind of credibility with us. Because she decides she's going to pay for 26. All is supposed to be forgiven after the last 30, 40 years that she has stuck the knife in, 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 in black folks as many times as she possibly could, especially black men. Bill Cosby, a uh, blind, can't see, about half dead, in prison for nothing. And what was the first thing that she said on Huda and Jenna when all of that stuff was going on between Snoop and, 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 and Gail? The first thing Oprah brought up was, and, and, and Bill Cosby is, is tweeting, is tweeting from jail. Like who in the world can Bill Cosby hurt? But he already down, but she decided she was going to give him one more good kick. And now all of a sudden, we're just supposed to fall at her knees, I mean, fall at her feet and, and just drop on our knees and fall at her feet because she decides she's going to put up a billboard. But she does it in the name of her business, in the name of another one of her failing businesses, the magazine. That goes to show what a, what a, what a, what a narcissist she is. For 20 some years, she didn't have a magazine and ain't nobody else ever been on the cover of it but her. What does that tell you about Oprah? That tells you that Oprah don't do nothing unless it benefits Oprah. So Oprah is not in this because she cares about getting justice for anybody. Certainly not for anybody black. Oprah is in this because she's trying to figure out a way to, to, to use Breonna Taylor to benefit Oprah. Oprah trying to ease her way back into black society because the dominant society, her paymasters, them folks that she worked for, have let her know that this is about your last chance. 
to be able to get some credibility back with the black community. Because if you have no credibility with the black community, if the black community will no longer listen to you, then there's no reason for us to keep you around. So this is about her last chance. So she's going to try to use Breonna Taylor to do it. While she benefits from it. Now, let's take this a little bit further. Okay. Now, if you look on the uh, the billboard, it says, uh, uh, it, it does that whole spiel about Oprah and her little quote and the, uh, the Oprah magazine and all of that. Then it has the picture of Brianna. And then over to the side, it says, demand that the police involved in killing Brianna Taylor are arrested and charged. Visit untilfreedom.com. Okay, well, since it said visit untilfreedom.com, I visited untilfreedom.com to see what was going on, to see what untilfreedom.com was really all about. Because first of all, you have to question what untilfreedom.com is really all about for Oprah to be promoting it. You understand what I'm saying? For Oprah to be including it on her billboard. You know, that, that automatically should make it sus suspect. That should automatically make it suspect. Okay. And it says, um, until freedom, until freedom, I fight for Brianna, invest in our work. And then it got getting involved. And it's got a picture of, I guess, those are the until freedom folks or whatever. And then the other one is the actual cover of the old magazine. The other picture right here on the very beginning, when you first click on it, at the top it says Until Freedom. Then it says Breonna Taylor, our team, donate about Until Freedom in the media. And then it says merch. And um, it says Until Freedom, I fight for Breonna, invest in our work. Then if you go on down, it says getting involved. And on one side, you got a picture of all these folks that look like they under this uh, 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 lamp post. And then on the other side, you got the actual cover. That is the actual cover of the old magazine. That is the actual cover of the uh, of the of the September issue of old magazine. So Oprah is, is is advertising everywhere. She's advertising old magazine all through this, throughout this whole process. She advertising old magazine, and then it, it uh, 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 then it gives you. Uh, uh, a little uh, uh, thing about about us until freedom is an intersectional we're gonna get into all of this intersectional social justice organization rooted in the leadership of diverse people of color to address systemic and racial injustice at until freedom we believe that those closest to the pain are closest to the solution therefore we focus on investing in those who are the most directly impacted by cyclical cyclical poverty inequity and state violence and then over on the other side where it has the old magazine cover for September do you know what happened to Breonna Taylor and it goes on to talk about uh, 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 what happened to Breonna Taylor and the police officers that were involved in all of that okay then if you go to uh, if you go to Breonna Taylor, it, 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 it puts up, I think it does an interview and it puts up a video and it shows um, uh, maybe pictures of the, uh, it shows in the video uh, the gunshots and, and all of that kind of stuff at her apartment and all of that. Then it says our team and it lists who's a part of this Until Freedom and you got Tamika who is a co-founder, you got Mason who is a co-founder, you got Angelo Pinto, who's a, a, a lawyer, he's a co-founder, and Linda Sasor, who's a co-founder. Committed to our cause, uh, uh, this is our team, committed to our cause down at the bottom until freedom founders and leaders have a proven track record of two decades of collective work in criminal justice reform, gun violence prevention, immigrant rights, and cultural engagement. Our expertise lies in the areas of strategic ca campaign development, social media communications, mobilization, building grassroots supports, media advocacy, and policy reform. 
Okay, then they got a a, 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 a a spot where they go have merchandise coming soon. And you see them doing a photo op uh, where they, you know, everybody all dressed in the, in the Until Freedom merch. You understand what I'm saying? So they're going to turn this into a way to make money. Okay, then you got the donate button where you can donate and all of that. But what I want to do is I want to go to the about section. Let's go to the about section. And since Oprah is promoting this, Let's see what this is really all about, okay? Since this is what Oprah is promoting, this is this is the this, this is the website of all websites that she decided that she was gonna put on her um on her billboards. Let's go over here and see what this partnership is all about, and let's see what Until Freedom is really all about. And yeah, we see Tamika, we see Mason, and, and and all of that. And yeah, these folks. You, you know, these folks have, have done some fighting and, and these folks seem to be genuine and, and, and they seem to really be about their business and they really seem to be, you know, on the up and up and all of that. But there's some bullshit in this our story. And let's get to it because you got to remember Oprah supports this. Not only does she support it, she has promoted it. Evidently, they support Oprah because, again, Oprah's june or uh, uh, september cover with brianna on it is on the front page of this when you first click the link and, and, and it comes up you see the picture of them and then you see the p the picture of oprah's september O magazine cover on the front page so evidently everybody is supporting everybody right and they are allowing oprah to advertise her uh september issue of the magazine on this website on their website okay Now again, remember again we are on about uh, at a, uh, we are on about us. You see Tamika, you see Mason, you see um what's this other lady's name? You see the Pinto dude, and you see um uh, uh the the sensor lady. And it says our story. Well, first it says fighting for what we believe in together. Okay, then it says our story until freedom is an intersectional social justice organization intersectional right there there we go all everybody everybody just meets and crosses over and it's just all intersexual you know the gays and 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 and, and, and the uh and all of these so all these made imaginary coalitions we got with LGBTQ and and, and 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 the Black Brown Coalition and all of these different coalitions we supposed to have and all of this intersectionality and everything that's supposed to be going in and all of that. Okay, we, we got to stop right there, right? Um, that's a bunch of bullshit. That's the first bunch of bullshit right there. So that lets you know the reason why Oprah is behind this and, and putting them on their, on her billboard and why they're allowing her to advertise her magazine on their website. Intersectional. Everybody. You understand what I'm saying? All these gay folk and everybody. Okay, well, what is LGBTQ doing for black folks? What is white LGBTQ doing to help white folks? What are they doing to raise the awareness uh, 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 against all of this crime and, 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 and all of this stuff that's going on and all of this stuff that black folks are being targeted with and all these murders and all of this kind of stuff? What is the, what, what is the LGBTQ community do, doing about it other than calling us homophobic? Other than calling us homophobic? What did the LGBTQ community, the white LGBTQ community, what did they do uh, when they kept bringing all them dead men out of Ed Buck's house? What, what, did the L, what did the white LGBTQ community do about that? Did they demand an investigation? Did they demand that Ed Buck be arrested? Did they demand that Ed Buck be charged with anything? No. No. It took victim number three who was almost murdered. He didn't, he actually, he, he, he managed to survive, but it took victim number three to be brought out this man's house all messed up before anything was done about Ed Buck. But two dead black gay men had already been brought out of his house and absolutely nothing was done. And the white LGBTQ didn't demand that anything be done.
What did the white LGBTQ do about Jeffrey Dahmer? When Jeffrey Dahmer was killing all them black men and, and, and killing them and cutting them up and eating them and all of this kind of stuff, what did LGB, what did the white LGBT do about that? Tariq has already given us the history of, uh, of all of these white supremacists who were a part of the white LGBTQ. J. Edgar Hoover was a part of the white LGBTQ. And we know how he felt about black folks. So what is all this intersectional stuff supposed to be about? Because it, 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 it's not LGBT. Q that's being targeted. It's not them that's being killed in the street. It's not them that's being slaughtered by police. It's not them that, that, that are being murdered uh, uh, with impunity. It, it's not gay folks that's going through all of that. It's black folks that's going through all that. Gay folks are not the target. Black folks are the target. And they keep wanting to bring up all of these uh, 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 um, what, do you, what do you call it? These transgender uh, uh, black women and all of this kind of stuff. Oh, okay, but they're not being targeted because they're transgender unless they're being targeted in their own community because most of them are being killed by people in their own community, the gay community. But if they're being killed outside of that, it's not because they're transgender, it's because they're black. How many white transgender women are being killed? How many white gay folks, period? are being killed, slaughtered in the street by police or anybody else? How many uh, 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 white gay folks are being killed by black folks? So that intersectional stuff just ain't gonna, uh, ain't gonna get it. That, that's not gonna work. See, they done already started with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, and, and, and I've heard some things about Tamika. I've heard some things about Mason. But this is going in the wrong direction already. OK, but let's keep reading. Until Freedom is an intersectional social justice organization rooted in the leadership of diverse people of color. Here we go again with this people, this diverse word and this people of color. Well, it's not people of color that are dying in the street. It's not people of color that are being choked out in the street. It's not people of color that are being shot and killed in their homes, in their sleep. Remember at uh, 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 Tatiana Jefferson in her home with her nephew minding her business. Just like Breonna Taylor in her home minding her business. So it's not people of color that are being targeted. It's not people of color that are being slaughtered and murdered. It's black people. Uh, but the leadership is of diverse people of color. You understand what I'm saying? That's the leadership. To address systematic and racial injustice. At Until Freedom, we believe that those closest to the pain are closest to the solution. Therefore, we focus on investi investing in those who are the most directly impacted by cyclical poverty, which means poverty that, that it, it, it's, it's a cycle, a cycle of poverty. That's what it means. In in, um, inequality and state violence. We are a clearinghouse for advocates, new and budding activists, seasoned community organizers, students, movement lawyers, entertainers and artists, that entertainers and artists thing, mm. um, po uh, policy experts, formerly or and currently inc incarcerated individuals and survivors of gun violence to work linearly to uplift all of our people, all of our people. But it's not all of our people who are being targeted. It's not all of our people who are being killed. It's not all of our people who have had to endure police brutality for centuries now. 
We're not talking about the last 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. We're talking about hundreds of years. Black folks have been targeted. Black folks have been the target of police brutality. Remember now, the police as we know it originated as slave patrols. Slave patrols were particular were specifically created to police the black folks, the black community, the enslaved folks. And they are still practicing the same tactics today that they practiced back in 1704 when they were first created. Everyone is worthy. Everyone is needed to win. This has nothing to do with black folks. This whole statement right here has absolutely nothing to do with black folks. So what? You got two black people that are supposed to be co-founders. Tamika and Mason. I think the other guy is Hispanic and I think the other that lady is uh is 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 maybe a Muslim. But you got two black people, but nothing that we just read right there is about black people. Nothing is about black people. Not anywhere in this statement do you read anything that specifically says black people. But it's black people who are suffering. It is black people who are dying. It is black people who are being murdered. It is black people who are being killed. It is black people who have been, had to endure this for centuries. So do you see why as ambiguous as this is? Now, remember, Dr. Claude Anderson told us to worry about all the, to, 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 to be careful of all of those ambiguous statements, words like diverse, words like people of color. When they get to talking about all people, everyone. And they never specifically say black people. So now do you see why it was so easy for Oprah to add this website to her billboards and why they over here advertising Oprah's magazine cover for September? Because there's nothing specific in this about black people. There's nothing in this about black people. There's nothing in this about black folks and, and what black folks need. And, and we advocating for black folks. You understand what I'm saying? And we all about what's happening with black folks. And we all about punishing these race soldiers for what they doing to black folks. No, this statement is about everybody. Intersectionality. Diverse people of color. Uplift all of our people. Everyone is worthy. Everyone is needed. This is another one of them Kamala Harris all, and, and, and Barack Obama, a, 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 a rising tide lifts all both. There's nothing specific in here about what's happening to black people in America. There's nothing specific in here about the violence that is being directed at black people people because it ain't being directed at all folks it ain't being directed at white folks it ain't being directed at asians it ain't being directed at latinos it ain't being directed at gay it's being directed at specifically at black people but there's nothing in this statement in this our story that speaks specifically to what's going on with black folks in america and has been going on for centuries. And then it goes on to list. We seek to fulfill our mission through. And it goes into all of this about how they going to do this. And, 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 and um, media advocacy, uh, campaign de development with uh, tangible demands. Um, Rapid response and triage, uh, organizers, faith leaders, and all of this mess, uh, training and resource development with a focus on under underserved communities. That's another one of those words. 
That's another one of those trick bag words that Dr. Claude Anderson told us to watch out for. Underserved uh, uh, communities. Not black communities, underserved communities. Um, uh, media advocacy, effectively using the media to raise awareness on important issues impacting black and brown communities. There we go again. Anything other than to talk about black people, to talk specifically about what's going on and what's happening with black people. And this is what uh, 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 Tamika and, 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 and Masan are a part of. So, you know, maybe just maybe, you know, uh, uh, maybe they started out, you know, uh, uh, genuine or whatever, but they really, really need to stop for a minute and need to realize that, uh, that the whole focus is off. Because all these other folks ain't being killed in the street. All these other folks ain't being slaughtered. All these other folks ain't being murdered. All of these other folks are not being targeted. All of these other folks are not being targeted for mass incarceration. All of these other folks are not being targeted by the judges and the prosecutors and all of that. That's just black folk. So now do you see why it was so easy for Oprah to promote this website? You, do, do you think for one minute that if this website talks specifically about what's happening with black folks and the demands that black folks have and what black folks need in reparations and all this, do you think for one minute that it would have been on Oprah's billboard? Because they don't need Oprah to bring awareness to these issues. They have brought awareness to these issues. We have brought awareness to these issues. The new black media has brought awareness to these issues. Jason Black putting up all of these uh, uh, billboards all over the place has brought uh, 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 attention to these issues. Tariq Nasheed and Jason and all the rest of them with these documentaries and all of this have brought attention to these issues. Don't nobody need Oprah Hill uh, 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 a day late and a dollar short. But this is another attempt by white supremacy to hijack the movement, to change the narrative, to deflect and distract. And they're using Oprah to do it. And they're using Oprah and they're also using Until Freedom to help do it. So that's the reason why we have to be very, very careful. You know, things might look good. You know, there's an old saying that the old folks have. Everything that glitters ain't gold and everything that shines ain't silver. And this is some of that fake gold. You know, back during the gold rush, you know, you had people spending all of their money going, trying to uh, tr uh, 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 trying to be a part of the gold rush. And they kept finding all that fake gold, all that fool's gold and all of this kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But you have to you can't just look at something and, 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 and take it at face value. There's too much going on right now. You understand what I'm saying? This is not the time for us to just be buying everything that somebody's selling. Before you buy it, you need to look at it. You need to turn it over. You need to turn it inside out. You need to turn it upside down. And you need to make sure that it is exactly what you think you buy. And this right here is nothing but a bunch of bullshit. This is white supremacy's attempt to once again use Oprah to try to distract. You understand what I'm saying? To try to sway black folks. To try to get black folks looking in another direction. To try to get black folks to follow her. And get off of what's really going on. To get off of and to stop paying attention to what the grassroots is really doing. The power that the grassroots is building. So it shouldn't be nobody trying to give Oprah no props. Or trying to give her no credit whatsoever for putting up a billboard or two. 
Not when it's obvious that she's trying to use this whole Breonna Taylor thing to get up the, the, the sales for her magazine and to bring breathe life back into her magazine. Why are the billboards exactly like the cover of the magazine? Come on, people. Why would Oprah do the, the billboards under the name of the magazine instead of just doing them as Oprah? Or better yet, just doing them anonymously. And then to try to act like it was her idea. To try to act like this whole billboard thing was her idea. When just like Jason said, nobody was thinking about billboards, period, until he started doing billboards. So I just came on here because I just wanted to give y'all this information to let y'all know you got to be aware of what's really going on. You got to be aware of what white supremacy is doing. White supremacy is trying every trick in the book to get everybody's attention off of the grassroots. To get everybody's attention off of what's really going on in the streets. To get everybody's attention off of the momentum that is, has been built and that is building. To get everybody's attention off of those billboards up there talking about reparations. And talking about hate crimes. And talking about racial profiling. And they sent Mammy Oprah out one more time to see if maybe just maybe she can get just a little bit of a little bit of her credibility back with black folks. And everybody should be saying, hell no. Where were you 10 years ago? Where were you five years ago? Where were you when the whole thing was going on with Sandra Bland? Where were you when the whole thing was going on with Trayvon Martin? Where were you when the whole thing was going on with Tamir Rice? Where were you when the whole thing was going on with all of these black folks who, who, who were murdered unjustly? Where were you? Now, all of a sudden, you had a stroke of conscience? No. And then when you decide you're going to have a stroke of conscience, you advertise your magazine. You do it all under the veil of your magazine. And you even somehow or another persuade these people who are supposed to be true advocates and true activists. You actually persuade them to advertise your magazine cover simply because it's got a picture of Breonna Taylor on it on their website. Because you using Breonna Taylor to bring awareness back to your magazine. You understand what I'm saying? And to, and to try to give you a little bit of credibility again with the black community. Because your white paymasters ain't, ain't, ain't fooling with you too much more. If you don't hair up and do something, if you don't hair up and get some kind of sway with the black community, they ain't going to fool with you too much longer. And I hope that Tamika and Mason and the rest of these folks that are part of Until Freedom, I hope they realize before it's too late that they're being used. Unless, of course, they've been co-opted. Unless, of course, you understand what I'm saying? Because, the, the, I, I mean, the language in here, all of this intersectional and all of this diverse people of color and, 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 and all of this underserved communities and all of this black and brown communities and all of this um, and all this uplifting all people and all of that, it, it sounds like they may already be co-opted. And like I said, I've heard some things uh, in passing about Tamika and my song. But uh, it, it ain't a good look for you to be in, in cahoots with Oprah Winfrey. It, it, it's just not a good look. It's just not a good look for you to be in cahoots with Oprah Winfrey. It's not, it's, it's not a good look for you to be uh, for you to be out there say you are all about justice for Breonna Taylor and, and you got Oprah's magazine cover uh, uh, on your website. So if you haven't been co-opted, then, you know, 
uh, uh, being hooked up with Oprah just ain't, 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 ain't that ain't the business. That ain't the business because Oprah ain't about nothing that has anything to do with black folks. Oprah is simply about using black folks. Oprah is simply about taking advantage of black folks. And that's what she's doing with this Breonna Taylor situation is taking advantage of this Breonna Taylor situation so that she can bring attention to her magazine and so that she can try to bring attention to herself and so that she can try to get back in with the black community. But it's too late. It's too late. See, that's what's happened to us over and over and over again. We keep giving people passes. We keep forgiving people that's just screwed up and keep letting them back in for them to stab us in the back, in the back all over again. Not this time. You can't get back in, Oprah. The door is closed to you. You pitch your tent with them folks over there. You're going to have to stay over there with them. This is not going to work. We don't need you to put up billboards. We can put up billboards. We have already proven that we can put up billboards. We don't need you to put up billboards. We don't need you to bring attention to anything. We have already proven that we can bring all the attention that we need to to any, any issue that we have in the black community. We don't need you for that. When we needed your platforms, when we needed your voice, when we needed your help, when we needed you to spend some money to, 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 to push black issues, you was too busy over there protecting Harvey Weinstein and, and rubbing elbows and kissing up with the folks over there in the dominant society when we needed you. We don't need you now. We don't need you. So stay over there. You're not welcome over here. There is no place over here for you now. There is no place over here for you. There is no place over here for Gail. There is no place over here for none of y'all. None of y'all boot licks and, 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 and mammies and bed winches and coons. There is no place over here for you. When we needed you, that's all of you celebrities. All of you millionaires. When we needed you, we couldn't depend on you for nothing. We couldn't even depend on you to stand on your word. Let's more depend on you for any resources. We couldn't depend on you to simply stand on your word. You say one thing one minute and the, and the minute dominant society points their finger and wag their finger at you, you backtracking and apologizing and saying something different. We can't depend you on you to stand on your word. Let's more depend on you for nothing else. So we don't. We don't need you. Goodbye. We don't need you to do billboards. We don't need your platforms. We don't need you to put folks on your on your magazine covers. We don't need all of that. But I just wanted to bring y'all this. I just wanted to give y'all the the, 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 the 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 inside information to let you know that this really is all about her trying to promote herself and all about her trying to to, to trying to to trying to weasel and slime her way back into black society and, and we just can't let it happen the door she closed the door she closed the door herself she walked away from black society black society didn't push her away she walked away she made that decision She chose the side that she wanted to be on. Now that she's made that choice, she can stay over there. She got to stay over there. She can't come back over here. Because it ain't nothing over here for her. Because she cannot be trusted. She cannot be trusted. And to be quite honest, if this is the kind of mess that Tamika and my son and all of them going to be a part of, anything that has to do with Oprah Winfrey, anything that has to do with all of this, uh, 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 everybody and 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 people of color and diverse and intersectional and all. If that's what they're gonna be, well then they can't be trusted either. Let's be real. They can't be trusted either because that ain't what this is about. This is about black folks. This is about what's happening to black folks. This is about black folks being targeted. This is about black folks being murdered and slaughtered in the streets with impunity and nobody being punished. That's what this is about. 
This is about almost 500 years of, 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 of racism and white supremacy and, and discrimination against black folks. This is about black people. This ain't about everybody. This ain't about everyone. This ain't about all our people. So that is, so 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 if your little if, if y'all trying to say y'all forming y'all little co coalitions and having your little allies and all of this kind of stuff, if that's what y'all into and if that's what y'all all about, okay, fine. Then y'all over there, uh, uh, over you over there, and we right here in the middle. And it's all about black folks for us. All about black folks for us. We ain't got time to worry about nobody else. We have spent decades worrying about other people, helping other people, helping to uplift other people. And when we needed them, they turned their backs on us and joined white supremacy against us. So now it's all about us. And if you ain't about all black, then you suspect. If you ain't about all black, you suspect. If you talking that everybody and you talking that black and brown coalition and you talking all that we need allies and people of color and diversity and all. If you talking that mess, you suspect because this is all about what's going on with black folks. And putting an end to systemic racism. And discrimination against black folks because ain't nobody else being discriminated against. Ain't nobody else being targeted. Ain't nobody else suffering at the hands of systemic racism like us. Nobody else. So now since Tamika them decided that they wanted to join forces with Oprah of all people. Okay, well now they suspect, they suspect just like Oprah. They suspect just like her. Just like her. Because they, they didn't need Oprah to get exposure. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't need Oprah to bring awareness to these issues. They already doing that. Have been doing it for years. They didn't need Oprah. They didn't need to, to form no partnership or no coalition or whatever with Oprah Winfrey. Of all people, the biggest snake in, 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 in the world. Stab anybody in the back. Remember, Bill Cosby was supposed to be her friend. Remember, Russell Simmons was supposed to be her friend. Remember, Michael Jackson was supposed to be her friend. Remember, it was the interview that she did in 1993 with Michael Jackson that put her ass on the map. Remember, when Michael died, the only person his mama would trust to have an interview with was Oprah. Because Oprah pretended to be his friend. So you talking about a backstabber for sure. And you going to put up a big, a few billboards and think we done forgot all of that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because if you do it to Michael, if you do it to Bill Cosby, if you do it to Russell Simmons, if you do it to all of these folks that were supposed to be your friends, all these folks that you railed, uh, rubbed elbows with and hobnobbed with in Hollywood, if you do it to them, of course you'll do it to her. You done already sold out the black community over and over and over again. You done met a you you done met a different breed now. We're not forgiving and, and 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 just giving passes and just letting people back in just because they black. When we have found that it's those black bootlicks, it's those black coons, it's those black collaborators that do us more harm than anybody else. Why? Because they think they have access to us. And I kind of like Tamika. She's very passionate, very powerful. But honey, if, if, if you feel like uh, the only way you can do what you need to do is 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 you got to you you got to water it down, and you can't be about all black 
and, and you can't be about what's going on with black people and you can't specifically speak to the issues of what's going on with black people because you're concerned about your little allies and your little so-called coalitions and all of this kind of stuff to the point where you feel like it's okay for you to have any kind of collaboration or partnership or alliance or whatever with Oprah Winfrey? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Got to cut you loose. Got you cut you loose. You just you just you 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 just really put a, a, a real big dent in your black credentials with this with this move right here. Especially with, with this mission statement. Until freedom is an intersectional social justice organization rooted in the leadership of diverse people of color to address systematic and racial injustice. We are a clearinghouse of advocates, new and budding activists, seasoned community organizers. That seasoned community organizers is, is, is you know, that's them old school ones. And 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 and, and th there's new fresh blood coming now. And they and they and, and they got a different attitude about things. Students, movement lawyers, entertainers, artists, police. Uh, policy experts, formerly and currently in incarcerated individuals and survivors of gun violence to work linearly, linearly to uplift all of our people. Mm -mm. Everyone is worthy. Everyone is needed to win. So that, again, that sounds a whole lot like that, you know, that, 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 that tide that lifts all boats, that rising tide that lifts all boats. You understand what I'm saying? But even as it's lifting all of these boats, the black boat is still at the bottom. It's still at the bottom. So no matter how you work it, because we're at the bottom now, even if the tide comes and lifts all boats, it, it, all the other boats are lifting too. So that means that they're just rising, just like we're rising. And they're already over us already above us so as they rise they continue to be above us we might rise but we still at the bottom that's the problem we at the bottom no everyone ain't needed to win so i, I just wanted to bring y'all this just wanted to let y'all know what was going on just wanted to give y'all the inside track and there are other people talking about this but i just wanted to give it to you from my perspective you understand what i'm saying and let you know what oprah is really all about that oprah is using this for two two purposes one to to, to bring uh advertising to herself she's advertising She's advertising her magazine because her magazine is failing. She's advertising her magazine and she's using Breonna Taylor and she's using the, the present climate to do that. That's the reason why her magazine cover is on this website. And that's the reason why the magazine cover is what you see on those billboards. Those billboards are not something original. Those billboards are coming from that magazine cover. That's the reason why her magazine cover is on this website. That's the reason why she sends you to this website. Like I said, if this website was in any kind of way pro-black, if this website was in any kind of way specifically talking about what's going on in the black community with black people being murdered and, 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 and we demanding uh, punishment for these police officers that are killing these unarmed black folks and just murder them in cold blood. Do you think for one minute that Oprah would have this website on her billboards? No. So you just got to remember everything that shines ain't silver and everything that glitters ain't gold. We cannot keep falling for this fool's gold. Now, Oprah, Mag Oprah talk them talking about Oprah's billboards is everywhere. It's all the media outlets got it. Everybody doing an article on it. But you see, ain't nobody do an article on none of Jason Black's billboards. The ones that he put up in, in New York uh, uh, over, uh, over a month ago. Uh, the one in Atlanta. The one in Chicago. The one he did for Breonna Taylor. Ain't nobody talking about them. Why? 
Because Oprah is a part of the system. And now Tamika and them are also a part of the system through Oprah. And anything that's a part of the system is suspect. Anything, anything or anybody who's a part of the system is suspect. So y'all be careful. Be careful and know what you're dealing with. Know who you're supporting. You understand what I'm saying? Know whether you got real gold or whether you got fool's gold. And in this case, we're looking at fool's gold. So if, from, so from this point on, Tamika and, 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 and Until Freedom or whatever they call themselves, they suspect now too. Oprah being suspect. She ain't never stopped being suspect. But they suspect too now. Because Oprah is promoting them. Okay? So like I said, all of this information will be in the description box. So y'all go to the description box. You can read this article. Like I said, you can go anywhere now. And you can find out what you ever, whatever you want to know about Oprah and her so-called 26 billboards. Like that's supposed to mean something. What, what Jason Black has done as one single individual with just, uh, just some help from the grassroots stands out and means a whole lot more than what a billionaire all of a sudden out of nowhere decides she's going to do so that she can promote her own business. She doesn't even do it as an individual person. She does it as a business. She does it as her magazine, old Oprah's old magazine. So what Jason has done with grassroots help, what J and, and, and the ones he did in New York, he did them all by himself. All by itself. That means a whole lot more. That stands out a whole lot more than anything that Oprah Winfrey could have done. So y'all get that information. You know, y'all can read this stuff. Go on this website. Look through this website real good. Read this mission statement. Read about us. Uh, 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 read all of this kind of stuff. Uh, uh, again, like I said, they're going to have some merch coming soon. So, uh, uh, you know, they're activists and all this, but they're going to be selling merchandise. Well, whatever. So, um, yeah, so they'll have merch coming soon. And, and like I said, the first thing that you'll see when you click the link um, to the website is you will see um, that, that, that cover. That that magazine cover of 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 old magazine for September and um yeah you know just be aware just be aware and just know what's really going on uh and and know that we cannot allow all of these different people you know they tried to get the LGBT to hijack the movement that didn't work uh, uh they tried to 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 infiltrate and bring all this stuff in about Antifa and all of this kind of stuff that didn't work. They've done all of this to try to uh, uh, distract from what's really going on, the grassroots, what's really going on in the street. And nothing is working. So now they bring in uh, 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 Oprah and they have joined her with what's supposed to be a grassroots uh, organization um, until freedom or whatever. But it, 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 it's, it's losing quickly losing its credibility because it is now linked up and hooked up with Oprah. So that's what I wanted to bring y'all. Please like this video. Um, y'all please share this video. Uh, please have these conversations. Like I always say, not just on, on social media, but have these conversations in your real life with your family, your friends, your coworkers, the people that you hang out with. Have these conversations. Be mindful of what's going on. Be mindful of the fact that white supremacy will keep sending folks to try to change the narrative, to try to deflect, to try to distract. You understand what I'm saying? To try to get us uh, uh, focused on something else or whatever. And we just can't let that happen. Uh, please go show Jason your support because like I said, this one man has done uh, 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 what he did by himself means a lifetime more than Oprah Winfrey talking about she putting up a billboard. Let's be real. Okay. Um, so, um, and then I also have in the description box, I also have Jason's um, broadcast where he talks about this. 
and, and you know, he goes into a whole lot more detail than I did. But I just wanted to give you my two cents on the whole thing because the whole thing just pissed me off. And I, I you know, I just thought it was just it's, it's distasteful, it's disrespectful, it's just downright shameful, especially coming from Oprah. You understand what I'm saying? Especially coming from somebody like Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody with all that money when you could have been doing this all the time. You understand what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden we're supposed to believe you get you all of a sudden you grow on hard for black folks. Child, please. Um, but how these conversations, um, and 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 you know, I, I just wanted to come here. I, I don't know when I'll be back with y'all, because like I said, I'm working, there's a lot going on. But I'll be back. But this was just too important to let this slide because we can't risk folk buying into this. We can't risk folks buying into this bullshit because that's all it is. A bunch of bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? And I hate to see uh, uh, because so many people believe in Tamika. So many people believe in Mason or whatever. Believe in what they're doing down there with Breonna Taylor. I really, really hate to see them lose their credibility because of who they hooked up with. But I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I'm sorry. You just hooked up with the wrong thing. You know, I, I, I mean, you, you, you know, Oprah's a snake. Oprah's a snake. When it comes to the black community, she is a snake. There is nothing that Oprah does for the black community. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it, it is what it is. But we have come too far. Uh, the folks out there in the streets have fought too hard. You know, folks have lost their lives. Folks have lost their freedoms. Folks have gotten locked up and all this. We have come too far. You understand what I'm saying? For, for, to to, uh, to allow this kind of stuff right here to, to sidetrack us, distract us, cause us to lose our focus and cause us to lose our momentum. So when we see it, we got to call it out. It's just that simple. I, I, I don't care whether you agree with it, whether you disagree with it. I don't care whether it's your favorite or whatever, because like I said, uh, I, I love to listen to Tamika speak because she's very powerful. She's very passionate. But um, uh, uh, honey, this, 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 this ain't it. This ain't it. Not with Oprah Winfrey. This ain't it. This, this just ain't it. So, um, but yeah, y'all, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. For those of y'all who have subscribed to the channel, I want to let you know how much I appreciate it. Uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we upload. And yeah, y'all, um, just wanted to give y'all the latest and I'm out. Y'all have a good night.